The XM4 is a fantastic gun within Cold War, and I'm going to share everything I know on how to fast and efficiently unlock gold for it. Everything is going to be timestamped and put into the chapters in the description, as well as there's going to be some social media links and the link to the Discord and the full Dark Matter and Dark Ether camo playlists, with all the guides to help you get the mastery camos within Cold War. We all know that the hardest part about getting a weapon gold in Cold War is actually leveling up your weapon to unlock those camo challenges. Of course, the fastest way to do this is to grind double XP weekends, whether that's in zombies or multiplayer. And the higher your weapon level is, the more camo challenges you have unlocked and the more access to attachments you have. So you can have a better performing gun that has more camo challenges unlocked that can be all completed simultaneously. Personally, for me, I got all my weapons max level during zombies when I did the Dark Aether camo grind, which makes unlocking gold in multiplayer 10 times easier. The attachments that I use on the XM4 is the Axial Arms 3x scope. I have used it on every single map, including Nuketown. It's just my overall favorite site, good at close range and good at long range as well. I run the suppressor for stealth, the 13.7 takedown barrel for 150% damage range increase, the field agent grip for improved recoil control, and the airborne elastic wrap for increased ability and agility. The XM4 shares the same camo requirements as every other assault rifle in the game, and those go as following. Unlocked at level 0 is the spray category, which is 300 eliminations. Unlocked at weapon level 5 is stripes, and this requires you to get 100 headshots. At weapon level 10, you have to get 20 bloodthirsties, which is 5 kills without dying in a single life, and it does stack as long as all kills come from the XM4 for the classic category. At weapon level 20, geometric requires you to get 50 long shots. At level 30, you have flora, and this requires you to get 75 kills against enemies that are detected by your score streaks, equipment, or affected by your field upgrades. At weapon level 40, this is science, and this is 50 kills against enemies behind cover. Psychedelic is the last category unlocked at level 50, and this is 25 double kills. Going in depth to the camo challenges, for your headshots and elimination challenges, you will complete your 300 eliminations just through gun use, especially with the XM4, and headshots should not be an issue as long as you're aiming for the head. If you are struggling, Hardcore has one-shot headshots at all ranges, and this is where the three times axial arm scope comes in because aiming for the heads is super easy with it, and because it's such a strong gun, even headshots in Hardcore are super easy. One challenge that can get overlooked is your bloodthirsties. The best way to do this is to stay alive for as long as possible. So play in your favorite game mode on your favorite maps. This will give you the best opportunity to get multiple kill streaks, whether that be five kills in a single life, 15, 20, regardless of what it is, play whatever you are the best and most comfortable at and play the play style that suits you, even if that's camping. Five kills in a single life without dying can be frustrating on Nuketown 24-7, so unless you're an absolute sweat on that map, I recommend just playing your standard domination or ground war assault game mode. Personally for me, I did all of my bloodthirsties within the new Crossroads and Raid 24-7 hardcore playlist, as well as I did a bunch in Combined Arms Assault. Long shots are something that I used to struggle with when the game first came out, but now that I've done so many gold weapons, they're super easy to do, especially with the XM4, which even in core game modes, if you're playing on combined arms assault armada, you can kill enemies super far away extremely quickly with the XM4, especially using the attachments that I recommended. Stick to long lines of sight with the XM4, even if you're on smaller maps like Nuketown has some long range spots, just find that area of the map that has long, wide lines of sight, whether that be the river side of Crossroads, Raid from window to window, or even if you're playing on the Crossroads 12v12 map where the entire ice sheet will be giving you long shots. Overall, can be pretty easy for players with experience and for those who are struggling with long shots, hardcore domination set up in a spot where you can camp the enemy spawn but don't be too close and long shots will come to you super easily. Killing enemies behind cover has slowly become easier and easier in the game with lots of players head glitching recently and then just overall camping. The best way to complete this is actually hold down an area of a map that you know enemies will be head glitching at or trying to take cover. And another game mode that is really good for this is of course Ground War Assault 
tons of enemies camping in windows, camping behind cover, and there's so many flank routes that you can get up behind them and get around them and kill them while they are behind cover. Keep in mind that the cover has to be in between you and them. They can't be facing away from you using a head glitch, but you can see their entire body because it requires you to only be able to see a certain percentage of their body for it to count as killing an enemy behind cover. You'll see in my gameplay on Raid that I killed tons of enemies while they are behind cover. The Flora category, killing enemies affected by your score streaks, equipment, and field upgrades. Run the UAV and the harp, as well as the portable mic. As long as an enemy is showing up on your minimap because of one of these three things, once you kill them, that kill will count towards the flora category as well as if you use your flash grenades and stun grenades if the enemy is affected by that then that kill will also count towards it keep in mind with the stuns and flashes you don't have that much of a window to get that kill in though the last challenge is double kills two kills rapidly happens all the time in every game mode you should be able to complete this very simply if you are struggling play objective game modes and kind of hang around very busy objectives whether that's the b flag and domination the hard point in hard point or the assault zone in assault i hope this guide did help those who are struggling with some of the easier guns in the game or just who are new to the game and have never gone for a mastery camo before leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there is no hard feeling subscribe for more videos in the future and remember that there's some social media links and extra stuff in the description below i'm about to head out and if there is one i'll see you in the next one peace